Hello everyone and welcome to this simple Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how to create a simple 2D sprite and edit its collisions. Through this you will learn how you can basically set up your own custom 2D side scrollers and similar games especially when it comes to that first essential step of world building. The great thing about Unreal Engine is that it allows you to do this extremely easily but at the same time you also need to understand that it has some of its kind of small issues that might give you a bit of a trouble here and there. So for starts I'm going to import a simple image, a PNG image I created as a basics of my 2D sprite. I'm going to go to import assets and right here I have my sprite. As you can see it's a image of a ground with a small tree and some clouds. Beautiful, I know, I created it in paint all of my, all by myself. So impressive, I know. The first step to create this image into a sprite, now don't get confused, it's called a sprite, but it's not actually a sprite, it's just an image, um, is to go to sprite actions, right click, sprite actions, and create sprite. I'm going to name it or rename it ground which would be a kind of a thing I would use to create ground and background for my level. From here on out I can simply drag and drop it into the world. Again let's take a moment and appreciate the incredible beauty of this image I created in something like five minutes or probably less. Right now it's in the world and let's see it in this perspective. The first thing I need to do is to kind of align it with my other objects that are in the 2D space. And right now the collisions are automatically set to the entire surface. So all of it is a huge object that my player can interact with but only on its edges and outer limits as I'm going to demonstrate now. And as you can see, my character is running across the image and I want them to run on the ground in the image itself. To do that, we'll need to edit collisions. First of all, I'm going to align it like this. Maybe there will be some additional tweaking needed. Let's move this platform as well. This is all starter content from Unreal Engine. To the side scroller and now we need to double click on the sprite to actually edit it and here we are this is the sprite editor let's uh, dock it here you can see my gorgeous image right here and from here on out we should go to edit collisions now here is where the engine might give you some trouble the collision is the blue thing around your image. You can add additional collisions, which we'll do later on, but right now I just want to take this upper edge and pull it down to the start of the brown thing here, which is kind of the ground, gorgeous, gorgeous ground, and save it and use it in that manner. Now, if you click on each of these, you can move them individually but I want to select the middle of this upper edge and move it along with the, the entire space or entire square. Now I can't align it perfectly. I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to save it and hopefully the engine is going to recognize it as the new collision space and allow me to run while my character is moving through this space here. Let's try it out, even though there is a slight chance that it won't work, which I'm going to explain later on. Here we are, let's take a longer jump here. And yes, I'm on my space, on the space, but I'm actually behind this image. Uh, as you can see, and if you look at the camera, it's following my character, but it's not actually aligned with the sprite itself. So to do that, to change that, I'm actually not sure where the issue occurs, 
but the sprite itself should be moved slightly back. And now let's try it again. And here we are, it's working, it's working fine. This is one type of a problem I kind of saw and had. Maybe the issue is in the actual location of the game world, where the sprite needs to be perfectly aligned with these other elements. And the other option is that it's simply some kind of a bug, I'm not sure. Also, there is a chance that your colli collision, you can edit it and it still won't work. Possibly it's also a bug. If that happens, simply delete this original collision and add another one. I'm going to do that now to add a collision over this tree so that my player can't actually go kind of in front of it, but the same tree is actually right on his path. So I'm going to add a box. And again, this is a problem, the engine is immediately placing it here, so you can easily get confused which of the collision boxes you're actually editing. To do that, try to simply move the original box, or actually the new one, sorry, to a side, and there it is. You can see my original one is down there, this is the new one, and edit it here. It works much better than having to move, uh, as you can see, it's not that great, than having to move it in the image where you kind of risk messing up your original collision. So the editor is not working that well, uh, at least as far as I can see, uh, but uh, it's something that you'll deal with. Not that, it's not that complicated, not that big of an issue, but it might remind Demand, demand some kind of a tweak like this. So I'm going to move it across here and place it over my tree. I made it pretty well actually, almost perfectly. And now we have the same collision over the tree. There is the single collision down here and a new one here. So I'm going to save it and see it in action. This is working and here it is, the collision is working as well. You have your different means of creating these collisions. Uh, you saw that there is a polygon, there is a circle, so if I had time I could kind of thin this down and add a circle over the top of the tree, let's call it a tree, quote unquote, and make it even more precise because right now this space is actually also inaccessible to my character, even though in theory it should not be. So this way you can simply create your 2D sprites and you can copy them uh, as I'm going to do it right now and move them across the game world, place them together, bind them and do whatever else you want to do that is actually a part of your game or part of your project. Let's see it here. And you see it, it's working both of these sprites, the copy and the original are working in the same manner. So there you have it. This is a really simple, really easy, really straightforward means of creating 2D sprites and then editing their collisions. I also gave you some tips on issues that might arise because the editor is not that perfectly created, at least as far as I can see. And hopefully you'll find this tutorial useful. If you do, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or want to comment on something, especially my incredible artwork here, which is available as an NFT for just one ether. I'm kidding. No, it's it's not. It's not a non-fungible token. Uh, I shouldn't even uh, joke about that. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment, leave uh, a like, leave a subscribe. If you'd like to support my work here, also check out means to do that in the description below. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica. I'll see you on my next Unreal Engine tutorial and I'll till then have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye-bye.